Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back today with video number three in our Love Yourself Challenge. Hopefully you did well with last week's challenge, which was to do at least one thing that made you feel relaxed. And then one thing from the challenge of the week before, which was to do one thing that makes you feel confident, strong, beautiful, or sexy. So those were the two things we've done so far. For week three, we're gonna focus on what makes you feel fulfilled. We worry so much about keeping our kids involved in all these different activities and going to all these fun things that we often forget about ourselves. Maybe you've given up your hobbies completely or going out with your friends or anything that you like to do before you were a mom. Or even if you're not a mom and you just have kind of let what you enjoy doing just for the sake of enjoying it, Maybe you've kind of let that go by the wayside. Maybe you're a college student and you don't make time for that anymore. Or maybe you're a housewife but you don't have kids yet, but you don't make time for those things that you used to love and that used to matter to you, like hobbies and things like that. We need to make time for our interests too, not just the interests of our kids and what they're doing in soccer practice and swimming lessons and all that stuff. And maybe it's been so long since you've done something for yourself that you don't even know what you like to do anymore. You don't even know what your hobbies are anymore, and that's okay too. This week is the week to find that out. So either you're going to make a list of things that you know you enjoy and hobbies that you used to have and things that you used to enjoy doing that made you feel fulfilled or maybe you're gonna make a list of things that you think you would like to do. For me, YouTube was an accidental hobby. I didn't really mean to, to fall in love with it the way that I did. I didn't really think that I would. And I made videos for a little while and then I had stopped. And when I stopped, I kept telling my husband, I really miss making videos. And he's like, why don't you start making videos again? And I'm like, oh, I don't have time. And I don't have time. <laughs> Things have had to get switched around and moved around and it is a struggle to find time to do it, but I really, really love YouTube. And so for me, that is something that makes me feel fulfilled creatively. I like to plan things. I like to make thumbnails. I mean, I might not be the best at it, but I enjoy doing it. I like to edit and I get really, I like the feeling that I have whenever I have a new video coming up and I get all excited the night before. It's like the day before your birthday or something when you're excited about the next day because you know that something that's gonna happen. I love seeing the reaction to the videos or people comment or email me and tell me that something that I did helped them or motivated them or inspired them. I love that and it's a very addicting feeling because the more I do it, the more I want to do it. So for me, that has definitely been a hobby that was unintentional and something I never really thought would be a hobby. Again, with the E word, exercise, that makes me feel fulfilled. It makes me feel so many different ways. It makes me feel, like I said in week one, how I feel strong and confident and sexy when I exercise. It makes me feel relaxed because it helps to relieve all that pressure. And it makes me feel fulfilled because I have reached goals already that I wanted to reach and I'm always setting future goals that I want to achieve and work towards. So it really does make me feel fulfilled as well. If you used to play an instrument and you don't play it anymore, maybe pick up doing that again. Take a craft class, take an art class, a cooking class, have a painting party with your friends, either at home or out somewhere. I know they have those places now where you can go and like all paint stuff together. So figure out what makes you feel creative and fulfilled as a person, as a woman, not a mom, not a wife, but you as a person. What makes you feel fulfilled and satisfied with yourself? What challenges you? What makes your brain work in a way that it doesn't work that often anymore, maybe creatively um, or writing or things like that? Maybe if you have a blog that you've neglected, start blogging again, blogging again if you enjoy that, or photography, and put it on your to-do list. Make sure you're making it a priority, at least one thing this week that makes you feel fulfilled. In addition to last week's challenge, which was something that makes you feel relaxed, and in addition, in addition to the challenge the week before, which was something that makes you feel sexy, strong, beautiful, or confident. So that's three things this week, if possible, that fit each of those different categories. And it might be getting hard to find time to do all these different things, and that's okay. Eventually, it's gonna become more of a habit. It's gonna become a mental priority to you that you don't forget about yourself every day. You're gonna make time for yourself. The more and more this becomes a habit, it's gonna just come as second nature to make time, that you're making sure you make time for yourself in one or all of these categories. And a good way to do that this week is to schedule a class maybe with your friends that you would be less likely to back out of because you're too busy. You'd be less likely to back out of it if you know you've already invited three friends to go with you and they're going and so you have to make the time to go and you have to make the time to do that for yourself. And I will, I will say this, you have to fight for time for yourself. It literally is like a fight and a struggle. If you don't, you will get run over by all the things you have to do every day. All the things on that never ending to-do list, 
you're gonna be trampled into the ground by it if you don't make time for it. And you'll fight for that time for yourself this week. And if you wanna check in with me and see what I'm up to, I'd love to see what you're up to. So make sure you follow me on Instagram with the hashtag Love Yourself Challenge 2016. And I will see you guys next week for the last week in our Love Yourself Challenge. Bye.